Hello and welcome to another edition of Siler Design Solutions Tips and Tricks. Today we are going to import and convert an AutoCAD title block in our Autodesk Revit software. So typically when you've opened a default Revit program and you started setting up your sheets, well the default title block is typically this Autodesk title block. So how can we get in and utilize some of the AutoCAD or DWG based uh, title blocks that we had currently and replace those within our Revit environment? Well, in order to do that, we actually have to get into the family itself. So this is where we would select Edit Family. You can right click Edit Family when the item is selected. Uh, you can also double click on this as well, it's sort of like the block editor within your CAD environment. So with that family open, and remember those extensions are .rfa, what we can do here is go to our insert tab up in our ribbon, and then under import, select import CAD. Now with this, we'll go ahead and select our go, uh, title block that we had in our CAD environment, Make sure it's the correct size or, you know, something that you can use from that title block block itself. And also you may want to pay attention to how you bring this in with the colors, layers, units as well as the origin that we see over here. Once all of that's set, go ahead and select open. We can see here that our uh, title block that we did bring in has been um, brought in with um, our CAD title block here. So with that we see when it is selected that it is pinned we do need to unpin that in order to manipulate it. So with a CAD title block brought in it doesn't automatically uh, open itself for manipulation and this is where we need to come up to our ribbon and select partial explode. The reason we don't choose full explode is because if we were to do that, our text would no longer become text that's editable within our Revit software. So you may find that you do need to run that partial explode a couple of times depending on how many blocks that are in here. So I'm just going to select partial explode. Now we can see everything is editable within this environment. So now all you have to do is either pick and choose which particular title block that you are going to edit. Maybe I want to pull from my CAD title block over. Maybe I want to use some of the parameters uh, that we uh, are able to change within the Revit program and place those over here on our CAD title block. The reason is because those labels, fields, properties, attributes, whatever you want to call them, are no longer those type of items. They just come in as text. So this is where we would have to swap out the label parameter information over to our CAD title block in order for that to be used. And so now, if I just take a couple of these lines, and let's say I move these here, and I'm just going to pick corner to corner, and we've got that set up. Of course, you know, if you don't have that set up exactly, you can use that nudge feature. I mean, you can pick those snap points as well. But just trying to show this rather quickly here for you, and you can get in and uh, modify your own here. So once we have all of that, and let's say that I uh, did want to get rid of these particular text items, and you, you can see how it says AutoCAD text here. Now, once I move those off, let's go grab those particular parameters that we can adjust, and let's put those here within that new title block. Same here with maybe the sheet that we see here. I mean, you can simply delete these if need be, and we can modify and change and use as needed. Now, let's say that we've done all of that. I'll just get rid of that auto... Uh, Autodesk title block that we see in there. Get rid of this side piece here so it doesn't show up. We would just select load into project then. We're going to overwrite with parameters. And now we can go ahead and then utilize that title block for our project. 
We can see it comes in with that particular information. We can see still see the color of the lines coming through and also with moving those particular labels over those parameters are adjustable. So now I can call this Acme and if I had any other sheets set up in here let's just open this up here and create yet another new sheet. Now with that we can see how that new sheet comes through that name of the project comes through you know here's project name we'll just say this is a warehouse okay so let's go back over to that original sheet and we can see that has also updated here as well so I hope this helped out a little bit on how to bring in your AutoCAD title block utilizing the parameters from Revit itself and saves you a lot of time on making sure that your title blocks are set up to your standards and also saving a bunch of time from doing it from scratch. Have a good day and thank you for your time.